Hey guys, we are in Edinburgh. We are here with Megan Flockhart. Hello. Hello, uh, lovely Megan Flockhart. She's kindly come on the Harry Vlogger to do an interview with us. Tell us a bit about herself and what it's like being a lookalike. Okay. Here we go. And ready. Camera angle comes back. <laughs> What's it like being an Emma Watson lookalike? It's a compliment. It doesn't define me in any way. It's just, you know, it makes me feel pretty sometimes. If I be compared to Emma Watson, she's stunning. So yeah. really that's all it is for me. I idolise her and it's just the best yeah. compliment. Yeah, no, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not the worst person to be uh, to look like, is it? Yeah, really no. not. What made you pick the dress you're wearing? Um, I love Taylor Swift and I love her style and I seen it in a vintage shop in Manchester and I thought I had to have it. It reminded me of her 1989 style, so got it. It, it is a very cool dress. You have a fantastic bell outfit that I've seen. Thank you, yes. Um, I'm not doing, but bell's probably finished for now, but I am working on a Yoga Hermione one. A Daenerys cosplay, Elizabeth Swan cosplay. I also have a Wendy Darling cosplay, so I'm working on those three. Cosplaying's very expensive. It really just takes time to do it, but really want to do your ball. Yes, if you do these things, you've got to do them properly. And yeah, they do. definitely. There's no price on quality, guys. Look at this film studio I've had built for this interview. It's funny you said you idolise, because that was one of my questions I was going to ask you later. You said Emma Watson, but so what, what celebrities influence you? Ah, uh, there's not a lot. There's definitely Emma Watson, and Hermione in particular. I was also a really bossy little girl. Yeah. So it started with Hermione, and then kind of started to idolise her as an actress. And because of that, uh, because of that, I started to kind of just idolise her as a person. She's a great influence. Um, there's her, I fell back in Lily James. Lily James? Yeah, Potter? I love Lily James. <laughs> no, <just> Lily James. <laughs> what is it like to be a Hermione lookalike? Amazing. She is one of my favourite ultimate fictional characters. I feel like I relate to her more personality-wise than look-wise, just because, I mean, since I was a young age, I've been really into my education. I don't know, I just take things really seriously. I'm kind of competitive, don't like sports. Hermione was never good at, you know, being on a broom or yeah. anything. But also related to that aspect too, I love reading. Like, every aspect of her character I've really related to since I was really young. And being compared to her look-wise is just like, Honestly, it's just like an added bonus. What is the weirdest thing that's ever happened to you because you are an Emma Watson lookalike? Yeah, probably offensively someone created a full Twitter account dedicated to me. Wow. And pretty weird and I feel like people don't know their boundaries. I just get kind of, um, kind of people maybe think I actually am her. You know, people that just don't understand that I'm not. When you don't answer their questions, they get kind of mad and just things Bizarre things like that, where people don't really differentiate against, kind of, I guess, reality and online. Tea or coffee? Tea. <laughs> when did you... close this section so you guys shouldn't be disturbed. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 it's all good. That's <laughs> very kind. The, the shop has very kindly closed the section, so we're not going to get any more people walking through while we're doing our interview. <laughs> when was the first time somebody said to you, you look like Emma Watson? I was 12 years old, and I had very, I was in Greece. I had very, very frizzy hair and I was walking around the hotel and a little girl ran up to me and thought it was Hermione from one of like the first films and my mum had to kind of be like, no, that's not Hermione, <laughs> kind of no. push me away. And they, but really that was thought, when it, they really thought you were yeah, her, yeah. that's when it first happened. After that, I went back to, I went to school in Houston, Texas, so I was known as Harry Potter girl just because I was obsessed with it. Who would you go on a date with from the Harry Potter series? Definitely Daniel Radcliffe because I had a crush on him when I was like 10 years old. He just seems like a really down to earth guy. I love his filmography, like coming off of Harry Potter. I think he's really smart in his film choices. He seems like a really nice guy. A lot of people I know that met him seems really down to earth. And I mean, I have a boyfriend, so I'm not going to date him. But if I had to choose, it would probably be him. I mean, he does, he does. He comes across very well, doesn't he? Yeah, so, he's a really nice guy. No, I don't. You just qualify no, that. No. Um, who do you love in this world? Like more than anyone. More than anyone you in the world. Who do you you love can't more? put that down because if I do not say my dad, my dad is going to be right up here. And he knows if he's going to watch this, he is going to be right up at my door and he will give me grief for it. But my dad, Daddy my mum, Frankie, Tom Shee. Tom Shee? And Alexandra. My Tom Shee is the? Dog. Dog. It's the dog. That's amazing. Do you believe in love at first sight? Oh my God, it's so deep. 
Um, I feel like you can be attracted to someone at first sight, but I feel like love is something that you really have to invest in. You can have lust at first sight, and lust can transpire into love. So you're saying there's potential for love at first, at first meeting, but there you've got to build it. There is potential, but you don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't just jump in. Yeah, I think he's our fifth husband at the moment. <laughs> uh, right, this is my personal favourite question. Where do you see yourself in competition? in the lookalike industry? I don't see it as a competition. I see it as a collaboration. I'm a big Hermione fan, big Emma Watson fan, just doing it for fun while I can. Fantastic, fantastic. It seems really for you. Oh, I can't really. We've got you, these are the first. There's only two in the world. I've got one, and this one, this one is for you. This is a Harry Vlogger t-shirt. <laughs> Harry's vlog. I have to say, I feel like I'm on Ellen. Yeah. <laughs> this is really nice. Yeah, this is fine. And it is really nice. It's really nice material. It's a really nice soft yeah. shirt. And they're really cool. The first of these are only two in the world. We're actually not going to print any more of these. These are going to be exclusive just for me and Megan. Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks, guys. In the living room glasses. Yeah, totally. Sounds bad. I think. Have you passed? <gasps> passed or failed? I feel like I'm really high on my presentation. Wait, we just got... Your feedback. We're, we're recording. This oh is my live. God. This is <laughs> no, live. Please we stop just got that. a really good result on our, on our uni thing that she's doing. She just got like a really high A grade. This is big. Megan, high nice. five. Well done. Uh, we just got like an A on our... What did we do? What did we study? International marketing. I didn't get it. It was just one mark. Right, so this is great. This is great. This ties in for my next question. Where do you see yourself in 20 years? I'm probably married in a marketing job. Oh, I, <laughs> Yo. So I'll be still traveling. Life's an adventure. Probably not doing Hermione stuff anymore because I will not look the same age as Hermione then. But well, you Someone will. Someone else you, will have like, you will moved still, on. You will be still the same age as Emma Watson. Maybe I could do Cursed Child. Are you a hunter or a gatherer? Probably a hunter. A hunter? Yes, I like it. Certainly, we're both hunters. Right, if you were a colouring crown and you were in the crown box, what colour would you be? Mm. Are there pastels in the crown box? Uh, you can, is that you, too eccentric? Or is no, that... if that's you, if you're in the crown box, if you're in a crown box and you were a pastel, that is... Definitely pastel pink. You're a, pa a pink pastel, pastel pink. that yes. got that got dropped in there by the, accident. The cutest or... pastel pink crayon. The cutest pastel pink crayon yeah. in a normal box of like crayon. Pastel pink, crayons. yeah. She would be a pastel kind of dropped in, like maybe stolen from a school yeah. art department. Oh, or something. that's definitely yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind totally. of the misfit, but uh, you know, like came a person. Home, came home yeah. with a big sister's pencil case from the art yeah, department yeah, yeah. and ended up definitely. the kids' crown box. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> that I love that. What an answer. Uh, Megan Flockhart, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you on Harry Vlogger. Thank you so much for doing this. Uh, we're going to go look around Edinburgh a bit and check out the sites. Anyway, guys, stay tuned. Click subscribe. So, we in fact did an event a little while ago, didn't we? We worked at Middle Temple Hall yeah. together, me, you, and uh, we had Lewis there as well. We had Ron. Yes. We've got some shots of that.
This is the Emma Watson look alike, no question. Right, what do you spend your money on? Dancing potion. Yes. Dancing potion. They work, I've seen them. Oh, sorry, I'll be really quiet. Woo! Woo! Oh, that's close. Wow. Where did it go? It's totally near. Woo!